I kind of got a thing for uh, pre-war scale, uh, true scale. And uh, what I've got here is a Lowball, low Lowbomb, Loftbomb, I don't know how you say it, <laughs> but uh, made uh, in 1940. And <clears throat> I've taken and uh, I've set up a loop of Gargrave's track. Now, I'm running the power to the outside rails, DC. So this, this thing really runs well on Gargrave's. It's got a uh, prototype uh, square uh, head. And so the flanges grip it real well. Unfortunately for me, this thing takes about an 8-foot circle. <laughs> this is only a 54-inch radius. So I can only go from one end to the other on it. Here's the catalog it was listed in in 1940. And there it is in all its glory, ready to go. And what's hard to believe, you could buy this thing ready-made in 1940 for 175 bucks. That is not cheap. I had this thing gone through, touched up. There's a man that services all this stuff for me. And I gave 450 bucks for it. I don't think you could produce a, uh, a locomotive like this for 450 bucks. So let's give it a quick trip. It's just going to go down there, and all it can do is go forward and backwards. But hopefully, you'll see how absolutely quiet it is. It is one fine piece of machinery. I just wish that... Uh, I could put an eight-foot circle up here. I'd have to do a hell of a lot of revamping, and I'm just, I'm just not into it. Not going to do it. So, I just use a DC converter on a 250-watt uh, Lionel pre-war transformer, and we'll see. Whoop! Wrong one. Too many knobs on these things. There it is. Like how quiet is that? And that's as far as she'll go. And we can throw it in reverse. Absolute precision. Hope you enjoyed it.